Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see by the title, it's another mod showcase, and this is one that I am so excited to bring to you guys. So we are here in a little sandbox zoo, checking out with these fine folks here, something that I have created that I am very, very happy to have finally working, fixed the the bug, fix the issue that was going on with it. So, without further ado, let me find one of them. <laughs> okay, they're kind of hidden in here. So it's red wolves. Oh, here's one. Come here. Come here, wolf. Alright, come out. Okay, there he is. Here he is. Here he comes. Yes! Look at that. It's a red wolf. So, this is my second fully standalone red uh, fully stand alone mod. New species does not replace anything, doesn't replace the timber wolf, doesn't replace the arctic wolf, doesn't replace the dingo. It's a red wolf, you guys. Check them out. So, this is what we have for them. Not only do we have our new model and new texture, and it's a very detailed texture. Um, this was I, I can't tell you how much of a pain this was to get right, but I got it right, and it looks good. And they're not hugely red, but that's okay, because red wolves, it's kind of a misnomer. They're more kind of rusty brown-ish in places, instead of like red-red, like you would think like an Ethiopian wolf is. So our terrain requirements for these guys, a little bit different. They can take a ton of grass, a ton of soil. They can take a ton of long grass, too, so... Getting a terrain built for these guys to make them happy is not going to be too terribly difficult. Okay, where are they? Where are they all? I've got like six of them in here. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> here we go. So they're sleeping over here. Look at that. Look at that face. And from certain angles, they do look kind of dingo-y. That's because the model was made from the dingo model. It's alright. I'm happy with it, though. I'm still very, very happy with it. So, full Zipedia entry. Wikipedia. Yeah. Full entry, full icons, everything. So starting on this one, Red Wolf, uh, scientific name is Canis Rufus. Icon status, critically endangered. Population in the wild, 10. Yes, that is correct. Um, unfortunately, that, that is their current known wild population. So, large species of canid native to the American Southeast. These were formerly found basically from Florida to New York, from the eastern seaboard to central Texas. Current range is this little tiny bit of far eastern North Carolina. It's actually, I think, even smaller than what I have it on there. Biomes right now, we have temperate grassland. I included tropical. I'm considering getting rid of that because it doesn't... I kind of thought, well, you know, Florida, kind of tropical down there. But then I was looking at... Uh, frontiers biome map basically of the world and it's the kind of don't consider the tropical so I'm thinking of taking that out let me know in the comments down below what you think on that should I take out the tropical that's not a big change that's really easy to do it's just literally one entry in a database species data so two to six they have a little bit smaller pack size than our dingoes or our timber wolves um, up to six males up to six females they must have at least two, though. You don't keep wolves uh, solitary. Got a nice little header image here with the puppy over there. Do we have any puppies in here? I don't think so. We need to get a puppy in here, because we need to be able to see those. So, uh, again, bachelor size, two to six. We do have alpha, fe alpha male, alpha female. They are shy, so they will get stressed out. That's, that's kind of how it is. Size, um, they're a little bit smaller than the timber wolf, a little bit bigger than the dingo. Um, not too big, uh, 50 pounds for female, 65 pounds for the male. They can get up to about 70 is about maximum. All right, everything else pretty much similar to the dingo here. Research, so we do have our fun facts. Not all the fun facts on here are actually really fun, but they're interesting facts, such as uh, number one, interbreeding with coyotes, major threat to the red wolves. Oh, I've got a typo right there. I need to fix that. Nearly all the coyotes in the eastern U.S. carry red wolf genes from this interbreeding. So prior to the 1950s, there actually were no coyotes 
east of the Mississippi. Uh, after the 1950s, they began to cross and come over. They uh, pretty much took over the territory that used to be the Red Wolf and Eastern Wolf territories after they were wiped out due to predator control uh, efforts that were undertaken in the early half of the 19th century. The few Red Wolves that were remaining did interbreed with coyotes pretty strongly. Uh, in 1973, when these animals were listed on the endangered species list for the first time, and the effort to conserve them was actually uh, began and undertaken, they identified 14, uh, 14 what they considered purebred Red Wolves still existing in the wild. Those animals were captured. They were brought into a captive breeding program. It was spearheaded by partnership between the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. Quite a few zoos now in the U.S. do have breeding populations of Red Wolves. Uh, a few sanctuaries and other uh, uh, nonprofit centers like uh, Wolf Haven International, uh, Endangered Wolf Center, and Wolf Conservation Center also maintain breeding pairs for the Species Survival Plan. Starting in 1988, there was a reintroduction effort to return them to uh, far eastern North Carolina around the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. At first, it went pretty well. Um, Recently, around 2010, though, their population started to plummet pretty hard. The coyote hunting in that area had taken off pretty strongly. Red wolves pretty strongly resemble coyotes, especially from a distance. They were basically shot out of existence, and now there are 10. So, under the previous administration, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was pretty much ready to throw the towel on these guys. It's looking like under the new administration... Uh, that they're going to take another shot at actually recovering these animals. So hopefully we don't lose them from the wild. These are our true American wolves. They're not found in any other country. They're not found in Canada. They're not found in Mexico. Gray wolves, well, we have a lot of them in North America. They're also native to Europe, to the Middle East, to Asia, to India. Red wolves, true Americans here. So... I'm so happy to have them in Planet Zoo. I've wanted them from the start. I think they fit in just wonderfully here. Give this mod a try. Let me know what you think. I did fix the issue with it uh, conflicting with the New Guinea Sing Dog. And then there was another issue where it was conflicting with um, another modder's Cougar mod. That has been fixed. <laughs> it now works perfectly. Everything is awesome. I'll put out a patch for that uh, typo and probably change the biome just a little bit. So this habitat here is done up kind of in what you would expect uh, to see a red wolf habitat be like. Lots of hardwoods, so lots of ash, lots of beach. Don't have any oaks because in this game um, Frontier seems to think that oaks are not native to North America. We need to fix that. <laughs> they would just add the North American tag to the current oaks that are in game. That'd be amazing. So lots of dense undergrowth, uh, lots of Virginia creeper, uh, the arrowwood bushes, which are like my favorite bush, lots of bracken, lots of rocks. So very, you know, very nice naturalistic habitat for them here. You will need probably some be quiet signs, maybe one way glass to keep them from getting totally stressed out because they are quite shy, but uh, do have welfare turned on here. Uh, this little habitat it has them at 100%. So, environment right now, plants. They can take 100% plant coverage or no plant coverage. So, fairly easy to design a habitat for nothing to... No crazy plant requirements that are going to drive you crazy or anything. Enrichment, they use the same enrichment as the wolf. Uh, so the Arctic Wolves and the Timber Wolves, so they use all this, that same enrichment. Um, they originally used the Dingo enrichment because that's the file base that I used for them. I took out the tug rope and water pool just because it looked kind of odd. Uh, it kind of looked more like for dogs than for wolves. Uh, yeah, so and apparently right now the uh, Virginia Creeper is the strongest plant in the world, which can support a full-grown canine standing on top of it. <laughs> 
uh, their social interactions. So they're still using uh, using the wolf and dingo data means that they have the bonding mechanic. They have pack mechanic. They do uh, they do have to form a bond to be able to mate. I know we have a bonded pair in here, but I can't find them right now. <laughs> so they're pretty easy to lose in a habitat because they are a little bit smaller size wise. They're Smaller than a timber wolf, bigger than a dingo, which seems kind of accurate. Okay, there we go. I want to click on the animal. There we go. Look at that face. Look at that face. So, what I did to turn the dingo into the red wolf, because I did use the dingo model, brought the profile into a little bit uh, straighter, kind of took away the, the round dog head. Made the muzzle a little bit longer, a bit broader. Made the ears larger, obviously, um, because red wolves, they, they have pretty big ears. I wish I had a puppy in here because the puppy is just adorable, but you can see it in the Zoopedia. So, yeah, I'm so proud of this. This came out so, so good. I'm so happy with it. Yeah, Download it, give it a try, let me know what you think. If you spot any other typos in the CPD entries or anywhere else, please let me know, I'll fix them. And yeah, got a red wolf, guys. More canid species, more wolves in game. Makes me so happy. I'll be adding more. Got a request for a dole, which will be fun. Uh, doles are uh, native to Southeast Asia. Probably, probably use the African Wild Dog model and then the dingo file information for that. That'll be fun to tackle. Mexican wolves are still defeating me at the moment. I, I think it has to do with the naming convention of the Arctic wolf files. There's some oddities going in there and any, any tiny little mistake in doing the files will result in it not working and just crashing the game. So it has to be done very, very carefully. I'm going to figure out what's going on with that. But, so that's coming down the pipeline in, uh, in the future. Also going to do a coyote because I really, really want coyotes. I know they're, they're not the most exciting animals, but I like them. I like, I, I actually like the animal too. Like that's, people, people don't like coyotes, but I like them. They're, they're neat. I like to hear them. So I want them in my game. So I'm going to add coyotes and then, uh, yeah. And then work on doing a fox model, uh, getting that in. Uh, I know other folks wanted like bush dog. That's going to be a little bit more of a challenge because of the rig. Uh, the dingo rig is very long legged, whereas bush dogs are very, very short legged. Probably have to, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe he's like the red panda rig or something. Probably have to do a completely custom model on that. Oh, here we go. There we go. We got a pair of them moving through the undergrowth here. Oh, that's just perfect. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. And I may play with this texture and make them a little bit more red in areas. Uh, but they do have a little bit of color variation on them, which actually, as you can see with these two, this one here, we have our male. And we have our female here. He's a little bit darker than she is. It's because it uses the dingo uh, color variant data. So fun fact, when you're doing these mods, if you use a species base uh, that has color variants in it, so like the dingo, the llama, uh, anything like that that's got good strong color variant, your new species, unless you intentionally edit it out, will have color variation. It'll have the same color variation so far because I can't quite figure out how to uh, make it. I can't quite figure out how to change it. I think it's something to do with uh, the FGMs, which are something I haven't quite tackled yet. But you can see this one's a little bit more reddish. And it should have, uh, let's see here in the genetics. Yeah. So they do have their own little um, coat variant indicators. So uh, even though it uses the dingo, uh, these are actually a little custom. At least the text for them is custom. So yeah, guys, this is the Red Wolf added. I'm so happy. Uh, coming up this weekend, assuming I can get permission to do it from the other mod creators, I'm going to ask them in the Discord here. I'm going to do a showcase of a ton of all the mods, at least as many as I can install that won't crash the game. And yeah, 
uh, and show them off because the work that the folks over in the modding Discord have been doing is just in. Incredible. I, I gotta give a shout out to Harlequin's Ego. Helped me out this morning fixing what was wrong with the Red Wolf and the New Guinea Singing Dog. Why they were canceling each other out. Got them to work. Got everything to behave. God, look at that dog. Look at that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now that this is now a thing. Um, Nicholas Linerider helping out so much is awesome tutorials. He did a great live stream earlier today. I watched, learned a bunch from that. Yeah, this is so. The the floodgates are open at this point, people. We we can do almost whatever we want. There's still a few limitations in there, but we're actually kind of working through those, or at least I won't say that I'm working through those. The guys who really know what the heck they're doing are working through those. We're able to now use Content Zero Animals as at the rigs from Content Zero Animals, which was not possible earlier. Uh, we can use the rigs and then the file data from the DLC animals, which is much, much easier to work with. So we should be able to do smaller animals based on like the red panda and the pangolin rigs. Uh, yeah. So, so awesome. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below if you've enjoyed checking out the Red Wolves here with me. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you like to see more. I, uh, yeah, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when I post a new video. I swear I will get back to actually playing this game at some point. <laughs> I promise. I will actually like go back to building in like Wild Mountain Lodge and finish Lost Kingdom and, and pick up the franchise series again. Eventually. Um, what, what's the novelty of the modding wears off, I think? And uh, eventually getting back into fran uh, Sandbox, we'll be able to do some habitats for the, uh, the modded species, which will be loads of fun. Yeah, not so many implied habitats anymore. They'll actually have real animals in them, which will be great. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one.